Our next award category recognises those individuals who are forging a successful path in sectors that haven't tra traditionally been associated with women. It's our Breaking the Mould Award. Here's our shortlist. I would say that Greenology are breaking the mould on lots of levels. So that could be the work that we do because obviously we're in the green recovery right now. So the work we're doing is pioneering and groundbreaking, looking at things like wind turbine blades and how we can decommission them and use our technology. So the things we're doing are not just something great for Teesside, it's something great for the world. But also the way that we do things actually as a business. So we take people from challenging backgrounds and we make sure that that's sustainable as well. So jobs are for life. So we do things a little bit different in our business. I personally break the mould in every angle that you can imagine. I am a career chameleon. I am not just one person who is a one-trick pony. And I break the mould on so many things. I'm so not boring and I'm so not what you'd expect. <laughs> I've got sweaty hands now. <laughs> um, I've been shortlisted for breaking the mould. Um, I'm very pleased to be shortlisted. I've been in business a long, long time and it feels fantastic to be on the shortlist. And stay serious in business all the time. I've been in it too long. I've been doing what I'm doing for 30, like coming up 35 years. Um, I'm a lady in a very much male dominated environment and have been for quite some time. Um, so that's, that's probably one of the reasons. I have worked tirelessly to break the mould, yes, we always focus on quality, we always focus on level of service for our clients and it's been something that's heavily focused in the business for the last 20 years. My name's Angela Davies and I'm the co-founder and managing director of two businesses here on Teesside. It's CSI Training and Events Limited and Crime Scene Assist Limited. Myself and my business partner, Dion Watson, are ex-crime scene investigators and basically what we've done is we've taken our passion and knowledge for crime scene and forensic investigation and we've converted that into two businesses. And just recently, this year, we launched our forensic awareness app through our digital sister company, Crime Scene Assist. So that's basically aiming to promote um, forensic awareness to frontline responders. Um, why do I think I was shortlisted for this award? That's really hard to answer because I just kind of go about doing what I do and I really love what I do and I'm really passionate about it. I've never let kind of my disabilities stop me or hold me back and then I'm trying to inspire younger generations as well. So I think maybe that's why, but I find that really difficult to answer. <laughs> Please welcome now Joanne Rout, representing Breaking the, Breaking the Mould category sponsors, ITS. That's Middlesbrough-based Industrial Technology Systems. And a very warm welcome too to our three finalists. Joanne first, but Amanda Gardner of Middlesbrough-based Durham Lifting, Angela Davies of CSI Training and Events, and back for a second time this evening, Laura Hepburn, of Greenology Teesside. Joanne, ITS have the privilege of sponsoring tonight's Breaking the Mould category and I've read recently all about the, the work the firm is doing to encourage women in the workplace. Tell us why you got involved in this category of our awards. Oh yes, Caroline, as you said, um, ITS is an engineering company which employs an unusually high level of women in senior and technical positions. So we were delighted to sponsor this category, um, as a number of our colleagues at ITS are indeed breaking the mould themselves, often combining their technical careers with um, caring responsibilities, for example. So, you know, there can be obstacles to return in certain, to certain types of senior or engineering roles once you have a family, and this can partially account for the historically low percentage of women in these roles, with expectations of long hours, extensive travel being on call and so on. So ITS management recognises this and supports its valued employees by accommodating part-time working and working around home commitments. 
Grand. And how impressed with you were you with our three finalists? Because you chose them before they went to the wider pool, or wider pool to choose the winner. Because you don't know who the winner is. No, we don't. We we don't know that yet, Caroline. Um, well, we all sat around. The women involved in the business sat around and and discussed the, the shortlisting process and worked together on that. It wasn't easy. The candidates had all achieved remarkable career successes in fields with a lower representation by women. Um, they've all shown determination and tenacity in overcoming the challenges they face, including impacts of recessions, unexpected catastrophic events on their business, as well as, in some cases, disability illness and discrimination. Um, we were really particularly impressed by the stories of how they had selflessly supported and inspired others, especially in the current pandemic. Um, examples being job creation, charity work, and involvement with STEM engagement. These are all um, areas which are really important to ITS too. Right. Thank you for that. It is now time to open that golden envelope. Three nervous shortlisters. Let's find out who won. I should need a drum roll, really, don't I? OK, so the T's Business Woman Award 2020 Breaking the Mould is Laura Hepburn of Greenology. Congratulations, Whoa. everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Congratulations, Laura. Now, what you don't know is Laura's got COVID. So this hopefully will cheer her up in her cat's pyjamas in her bed. Congratulations, Laura. Um, how, does it, how does it feel from your sick bed to know it's yours? I, I've got to say that this means so much, not for me personally. You know, it, it's no good wheeling me out every time. It's for the team. It's for anybody that's been told no. It's been. It's for anybody that's told that they won't achieve something. This means so much more. And I think for all the women in Tees Valley right now who are facing barriers, this is for them. This is for anybody that's going through this crisis. And we will get to the other side of it, but we've got to work together. And this is why these awards are so important right now. So, sorry, catch my breath. Um, but yeah, we can do this together. We will get through the other side. So thank you so much for the nominations and obviously for the award. But this is for everybody that's watching tonight. Thank you, Laura. And what a wonderful way that you've, you've just captured all, you know, what this awards is all around. And I think I wanted to say congratulations too to the finalists, the other Absolutely. finalists. Every finalist, you know, is a winner in itself. I've seen your films. I know what you do. I know what you've overcome. Well, I know what's in the film. So probably I have a fraction of knowledge. Congratulations to all of you, especially to Laura. And thank you to you, Joanne, and ITS um, for your sponsorship of this fantastic award.